In this video, I'm going to talk about language setting within Copilot Studio. So Microsoft Copilot Studio allows you to create a bot in different languages. Now, there are, there are concepts uh, around language creation. Now, first is you will have one primary language for your bot. So take, for example, you have one prim uh, primary language for your bot, which is of type English, okay? And you can have a... Uh, the secondary languages which the bot will respond uh, in different languages okay so there are currently 18 languages which you can configure as of july 2024 now one primary language and multiple secondary languages can be configured now multiple languages can be used only if the classic option is selected for generative ai because the generative ai is currently in english language as of july 2024 and that's why if you select a generative AI option, then you will not be able to use multi-language for your bot. Now I'm going to show you in the demo. So, <clears throat> so let's let's focus on the steps to configure the localization. So take for example, our target is our primary language for the bot would be English, and then we will have a, a secondary language as Hindi for India and Spanish okay so if this is our goal then what we need to do is first we need to provision a bot using english language and then uh, go to a specific topic and then start adding those uh, localization file so the steps are download the localization file as either json or resx format update the file using the target language update the localization file back into copilot publish the copilot and test the copilot okay so so i'm not going to do it for the entire copilot but i'll just show you the concept and then uh, you can uh, extend it further now the setting which i was talking about is like if we go into any of the copilot and if we go into the settings area of generative ai so there are two options over here classic and generative now if you select generative for your copilot with that you can leverage the artificial intelligence uh, in more depth so then generative uh, it allows your copilot to use gen ai to identify the most appropriate combination of actions and topics so you need not specify a topic uh, it will automatically understand the context and then try to provide a more natural conversational experience However, in the classic mode, what happens is like it is built on topic. So you actually hard code the topic and then based on the topic uh, triggering functionality, uh, it will automatically uh, give you a response back. Okay. Now it, it is completely based on trigger faces and then based on trigger faces, the uh, in the classic mode, basically uh, actions can be called explicitly by adding them into the topics. Now, in, in my example, I will use a bot which will have a classic setting okay because if i select the generative ai i will not be able to demonstrate that okay now languages so under settings and languages if you click on add languages there are 18 languages i believe there are more than 18 i believe uh, languages which are currently available uh, so uh, there's Chinese, there's Czech, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Hindi, Greek, Norwegian, uh, Polish, Portuguese, Russian. So all these languages are currently available out of the box. Okay. Uh, we'll pick up a couple of uh, language and then I'll show it to you. Now, in this example, I've seen that uh, I've, I've uh, created a bot using primary language over here. It's, it's English. Okay. And then I've added secondary language called as Czech danish and dutch okay now what you need to do you need to go into each and every language and try to download the format in the form of json or resx okay so you download this in your file system okay then you open this file and then try to convert each and every text which you think is needs that conversion so take for example if you uh, have a file which has a topic which has a trigger text called as good morning and if you want to change that into hindi then you need to manually do that and once you do that then uh, you need to re-upload this okay you need to re-upload the updated file and then your translation will be complete okay so i'm just going to go, uh, show it for one topic and then rest all you will be able to handle it yourself 
we can test multiple languages now how to test multiple languages is in your testing interface there is three dots you can navigate to the language and then from language you can select whatever languages you have selected and then from that point onwards the bot will be in that context okay now remember if you have switched to a non-primary language so take for example if i switch to hindi language or a spanish language and english is my primary language then i will not be able to edit the topic our topic will be in read-only mode until you switch to the primary language so these all things i'm going to demonstrate so let's jump into the demo so let me refresh the screen so this is say july 1 copilot okay so this is one example which i'm going to show you this is a copilot which i've built ahead of time this copilot does not do anything fancy i have added one custom topic into it okay but there are a couple of topics which i've added custom topics which i'm going to show you uh so let me go into the topic and then from here i've added a maths topic i'll had a, added a maths loop topic okay so if you see the maths topic uh basically it will ask uh, if you need to uh configure in terms of phrases configuration like what is mathematics arithmetic plus expression and so on so forth and then it will respond back with a wikipedia uh content okay so this is one example similarly in the topic if you see uh, there is a greeting topic right so in the greeting topic you have good afternoon good morning hello hi like this and then you can make those changes okay uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to go into the topics and i'll go to maths okay so let me pick up one text okay see i'll just search for uh, the content over here so let me show you so let me remove all this content and i will just uh, search for mathematics okay and i'll just copy this content okay so what is mathematics i'll just copy the content and i'll paste it over here and i'll click on save so this is pure english bot okay so we haven't configured any language over here and if i type in what is mathematics it should give me the response back mathematics is an area of knowledge that includes the topic of numbers formulas and other things okay so this is pure english authoring english bot now what i can do is i go into the settings so if i click here click on settings then i will see that okay uh generative ai what is selected it should be classic okay you cannot select generative because the moment you click on generative let me select generative first and then click on save then i'll show you what what happens okay so let's assume my bot is configured for generative over here and if i go to languages over here and if i click on add languages it will give me an error it says or oh, a warning basically let's say your copilot is currently using gen ai for selecting topics and action which is only supported in copilot using english to add support for another language please switch to the classic mode okay so we we know what this error is we'll again go to gen ai click on classic click on save and now our goal was basically to configure two languages add language so if i click on add language now the list is enabled so i'll click on hindi and i'll click on spanish okay spanish spain and click on add language so i've now added two secondary languages spanish and hindi okay now uh, before we even make those changes i'll just uh, show you what i mean by a primary and secondary language so if you see over here this bot is in english language now if i want to switch to a different language i'll click here three dots click on language and now if i'll click on hindi now if i click on hindi you will see this text right this is converted into hindi now also you will see that you have switched to a non-primary language topics will be read only until you switch to the primary language so what what does this warning indicates is that i cannot edit this okay so if i come over here and try to edit this i'm clicking i cannot edit this because a primary language is switched back to the secondary so if i switch to primary language then i will be able to edit this particular uh, trigger faces i'll be able to make the changes it is in an editable mode right so this is how you basically use the language now what i want is say take for example if i type in say location over here okay 
now it is showing me which location are you interested in redmond seattle and kirkland okay now this is in english now if i do the same thing in hindi then it will give me the same response back which i do not want so take for example if i switch back to hindi and if i type in location and it has asked me which location are you interested in but what i want is this text and this text should be in hindi okay now in order to do that what we need to do is a couple of things uh let me go back to the settings go to the language and then click on this three dots okay here you can remove the language if you want to remove the language so take for example we are not doing spanish as of now so i'll just remove it okay so spanish language is removed from the system for hindi what i'm going to do i'll click on upload okay now before you upload you need to know what format you want to uh, upload in for that you need to download a localization file as json okay so i'll click on json you can do with resex as well i'll use json now we have this json file what i'm going to do i'm going to open this json file okay so where i'm going to open this file i'm going to open this file in vs code okay so i have a couple of files opened i'll just close the vs code file and then i'll try to open this file so i have this file i'll just drag and drop in vs code and you will see that these are the file content okay so there's a lot of things happening over here so let me unzoom a bit okay and then here you will see uh, the json file okay now we are talking about the location right so i'll just find in location now the location is basically which location are you interested in if you see this text okay which location are you interested in now this is the text which i want okay to be changed so let me find this again which locations are you interested in and this is at one place so i'll copy this and then i will go into google translate okay say let me say google translate and then i'll try to convert this into uh, hindi so which location are you interested in and then i'll try to convert this in hindi and then i'll copy this text go to my code and then i will just plainly replace this with the hindi text okay okay then i need to find a couple of things redmond so redmond kirkland and seattle right so this is the display name redmond kirkland and seattle so let me copy this redmond and let me see if i can get this in hindi okay that's good go back to the code paste it then come to seattle go here seattle and last kirkland so now what we are doing we are actually converting the label okay from english to hindi okay now we have we can do it for all other things but uh, i don't want to uh, uh, like waste time over here i'll just make some changes okay and i'll click on save control s so the file name is localizations.json you can read through the file these are some of the out of the box custom subtopic which you can make the changes for the hindi file like thank you thanks and all those things but we have just made changes to the locations so i'm good with it what i'm going to do i will go to the copilot and i will browse with the json file so i've already made this change just now and i'll click on upload translation updates okay doing so will override all past localizations i'll say okay update localizations and the localization is now updated successfully so i'll click on close and what i'm going to do just uh now i'll click on publish okay so all this information are saved all this information are published now so looks good to me as of now so now i've already switched back to the secondary languages i'll show you how to uh, switch from primary language to secondary and then secondary to primary uh, in a short while okay so it says feel free to close this window your copilot will keep publishing in the background so i'll just click on close okay so i'll just show you 
how to change so you click on three dots you click on language and then you click on english us this is your primary language within this primary language you should be able to change the uh, topics uh, in the authoring interface however if you switch back to uh, the the secondary language which is currently hindi over here then you will not be able to edit uh, the topics and it will give you an error uh, not an error but a warning message that you have switched to a non-primary language topics will be read only until you switch to primary language so i'm good with it now this is a hindi bot now as you see over here it is giving me this text in hindi uh, i'll now type in the information say uh, office location then it should uh, give me uh, a response back now if you see over here again this is also in hindi uh, this text and even this text is in hindi so that means we know that this context is basically uh, a hindi uh, context and now it has given me uh, a text pack it says uh, uh, could you please specify which office you are referring to? So it is not able to provide me the information uh, properly. So I'll just type in location. Okay. And now it has uh, identified that what, what I want exactly. And that's why you see the response is coming back in Hindi. Now we have made a couple of changes. We have changed the statement and we have changed the options as well. And it has properly uh, translated it. Uh, and then we got... The response and then what we can do we can click on whatever option we want so if i click on redmond and then you know here also i have made some change in hindi right and again there are some things which it has automatically made the change like if you see it says did that answer your question and then it has given me two different block like yes or no right so this is coming from the system this we haven't made any change even this is coming from the system so we haven't made any change or translated it however the things which we have translated is uh the, the three different cities and then this text and then this text right so this is how you basically translate your bot content in multiple languages so if you have many languages then you need to uh spend sufficient amount of time uh, in translating those particular text into the target language so that's it folks this is all about using language translation using language uh, or using multiple languages while authoring your copilot thanks for watching